So Peter Thiel, billionaire, libertarian, a guy who was one of the first investors in Facebook. He put a half a million dollars in Facebook. He has amassed a $5 billion fortune in tax-free Roth IRA account. Now, if you don't know how Roth IRAs work different than the IRA, you put money into an IRA. It's pre-tax money. You get a write-off every year. But at the end of it, say you're, you're putting $4,500 every year into an IRA. 30 years later, you got half a million dollars. You take that half a million dollars out. You will pay taxes on the half a million dollars. Mm -hmm. The Roth IRA, you put money after taxes right. into the Roth. And then eventually, you're making tax-free money. You decide to take the money out after 59 and a half. Great. You don't pay any taxes. So how has he raised and increased his account to $5 billion? That's the question. This is a business insider story. PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel has managed to grow a tax-free retirement account worth less, to, uh, less than $2,000 in 99 to $5 billion today, according to a report from ProPublica. The Roth IRA was created by Congress in 1997 as a way to for middle-class Americans, he's definitely not middle-class, to save for retirement dependent of their employer retirement account initially had $2,000 per year contribution limit. Today, the contribution limit is $6,000. Americans that make more than $140,000 per year are unable to contribute to the account. That's because the tax treatment of a Roth IRA is so beneficial to its users that it allows after-tax money to compound for decades in the stock market and then be withdrawn tax-free as long as the owner is 59 and a half years old. Thiel grew his fortune by using his Roth IRA account to invest in early stage startups, which translated to massive windfalls when those successful companies went public years later. From there, Thiel was able to use that windfall to invest in more early stage companies within his Roth IRA account, now worth $5 billion. Thoughts? Mary, go ahead. A similar story on one of the other PayPal founders who did the same thing. And I think that that's why you're hearing for a lot of calls for it. We should limit the benefit. Right now, the numbers are out there. Like $2 million should be the limit threshold of what you can benefit. And the other aspect of this that's really interesting is you get the step-up basis when you pass it on to your heirs, which is another thing that they're trying to poke. They want the benefit to stop at death. It's just a difficult thing to do because you know, Peter Thiel was in a position where he had the ability to invest in real early startups, do it mm -hmm. through the Roth IRA, and then the explosive growth over, I think he started this you know, over 20 years ago, that explosive growth over time, you know, that's how you reach these enormous numbers. So, you know, I watch CNBC all the time, and it, this is like the number one story on CNBC right now. Like, how the hell did this happen? So if you're not familiar with the Roth IRA, I'm a huge fan of it, right? So what I tell people is if you're gonna start investing, start investing long-term buy and hold. If you work for a company, especially a company that has a match with a 401k, that's a great option. Free money, it's a match. IRA, that's another option. But if you want to kind of do something outside your company or if you're an independent contractor or if you don't, if your company doesn't have a match or 401k, a Roth IRA is an amazing option. Like I've been telling our friend Eric Galera to get a Roth IRA for about a year now. And he's like, yeah, maybe next week. All right. Anyway, get started. That's the best way. You know, to say the best. Eric, listen to this. Listen to the yeah, guy already. Adam here. So, you know, they say the best day to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The next best day is today. So Roth IRA, I started a Roth IRA in 2008, right after the Great Recession. I had no clue about investing. I had no clue about a 401k. I can barely spell 401k. And I remember I started taking my company match. Well, you know how to spell Pen15, though. I do. I do. I yes, just sir. learned today what Pen15 <laughs> meant. I didn't Great know club. it until you and David yes. taught me yes, today. David. Okay, go ahead. Keep That's going. You. So I started a Roth IRA and I started a 401k and I started investing that that way. Now here's the catch. The Roth IRA is so good that they only allow certain people to um, contribute, right? So I remember when I was first starting, I wasn't making 120 grand or whatever the number was. 140. So it was amazing. Yeah. So it was 140 grand. Now I'm making a little bit more than that, so I can't contribute. So I haven't been able to contribute in whatever it's been, almost 10 years now. But for anyone out there making less than 140 grand, if you don't have a 401k, get your ass involved with the Roth IRA. The flip side of that, we'll get back to Peter Thiel here, is this is insane. You're talking about how they're maybe capping what a Roth IRA could possibly be a couple million bucks. When I read this, I thought he had five million in there. And I was like, oh, damn, yeah, how do you do saying, that? Kai, it's five million, it's five not million. five billion. It can't be five billion. Yeah. Five billion in a Roth IRA. And when you have a contribution limit of apparently two thousand dollars when this started in 1999, now the contribution limit is six grand. You're telling me he somehow he's put in, he's maxed out his Roth IRA, and built What's it up to five that? billion What's dollars. What's wrong with that? There's clearly some tax loophole going on here. Yeah. Like I get it. There's one side of the coin. You can do whatever you want. You know, invest yeah, you how know, you want. You know, you know what for me? You know what? You know how I would use it? Here's mm. how I would use it. 
I remember one time, you know, uh, you know, guys would go talking about this kid in our school was like, hey, this guy took uh, $10,000 of his dad's money and he turned it to $160,000 buying AOL stocks. I was in 10th grade, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, what Incredible. a, you know, I wish my dad would give me 10000 He's probably a crook. He's probably this. He's probably that. Everybody trashed this guy, right? Yeah. Years later, I ran into him three years ago, okay? This guy, I don't know this kid. Like, we're not friends, but I ran into him three years ago. I think he's in merchant service today, like five years ago. I said, are you, are you the guy I think you are? He says, yeah. I said, I said, weren't you the kid that your dad gave you 10 grand and you had like $160,000? He says, how do you remember that? that was 20 some years ago? I, said, I remember it because I'm like, yeah. I'd love to have $160,000. Here's what's crazy. That story fired me up. I'm like, shit, I'd love to have $160,000 versus some people are like, look at this guy. All he cares about is money. Look, this is how I would use this if I was Biden today. If I really cared about people saving their money, I would say, look, here's how big of an upside a Roth IRA can have for you as well. He didn't do anything different. All he did is the investments he made within the IRA were into stocks. You could do it as well. It was within startups. You can do it as well. It was within IPOs. You can do many of those as well. Just get better and learn about how money works, but definitely start a uh, Roth IRA. I would drive the hell out of it and use it as a way yeah. to motivate other people to start a $200 a month Roth IRA. So, Patrick, if you think about it, right, at 9%, money is going, which 9.9% is the average of the S&P for the last 50 years. Mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. at that level, money is going to double roughly every seven years. So you know, the doubling or compounding, it's real like it's the eighth wonder of the world. It's really magic when yep. you think about compounding. So the question that I would ask people is, would you rather have $100,000 or a penny that doubles every day for a month? And at the end of a month, it's $5.3 million, right. unless there's 31 days of the month, it's $10.7 million. So the key is, it's the last double. The earlier you start, the more you can get. And if money's mm -hmm. gonna double every seven years, how many doubles can you get out of that? I say, congratulations, Peter Thiel. More power yeah. to you, buddy. I well, hope that five billion turns into $50 billion, and I hope more people go start doing Roth IRAs as well, if they can. At yeah, the time. let me tell you, this isn't the last we're hearing of this story. The tax man coming, yeah. they're gonna figure out some way. Of course way. they will. They're gonna of figure out some will. way. Listen, five million, congratulations. Yeah. Five billion, you got some explaining but, to but, do, but, buddy. But, but, no, no, he has Lucy. no explaining to do. No, okay. no, 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 This, you see, that's the mindset of the majority in America. What's a problem, Adam? The government has explaining to do. True Not that. him. He has no way. He didn't break any laws. The government created this loophole. He didn't do it. No. He simply went and followed the rules and the guidelines that his accountant gave him, and he's got $5 billion. So the government has a lot of explaining to do. Yeah. Not Peter Thiel. Unfortunately, the media is bashing him. He didn't do nothing wrong. They're going to find some ways to come at him. So I, as an example. Unfortunately, as if an they example, do, it's a shame if they do that. Because it's the in, government's back fault. Back in 1999, and this yeah. is the guy that started one of the, the, the PayPal mafia founders. And he also started what Palantir. He was initial yep. uh, investor in yep. Facebook. He's uh, he's in early on a lot he's of things. He's a monster. Now, here, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if you guys heard this, Barry and Pat. He got 1.7 million shares of PayPal at 0. 0.001 cents. Okay, 1.7 million shares at less than a tenth of a penny. Good for now, him. if you can do that too, person out there starting a Roth IRA. You can potentially have a billion bucks in Good your Roth IRA. Good for no him. one else has that access. Good for, no, it's not about no one else has that access. Why don't you go network amongst the right people? Go shake some hands and meet those guys. Now, yeah, some go people, network at the well, founders of stop, PayPal, everybody. Stop, bro, stop. What are you talking about? Yeah, go network with those guys. Forget about him. Okay, he went and hung out with the PayPal mafia, which yeah. all those guys came out being billionaires, right? You know who I'm talking yes. about. There's a bunch Elon of them. Elon Musk, that, one of them. There's a bunch of them. It's like yeah. 40 names that we're talking about. Reed, uh, Reed Hoffman. But, but, but here's here's what you could. I spoke at Texas. Texas A&M University, I don't know, seven years ago, six, six years ago, some timeline like that. I remember that, that talk. Yeah, when I went you to Texas A&M. You said you don't do drugs. You get high off life. I get high off life. I don't like drugs. I, remember I don't thinking, even I like remember coffee. Being, coffee yeah. freaks me out. I remember, I think, being high when I was watching that. I was like, <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> this is what I'm doing wrong? Texas A&M. But you know what I told Go him? Aggies. Here's what I told him. I said, yeah. forget about meeting a Peter Thiel. Go meet the Peter Thiel of your university. If I'm oh. school, there's a different camps, group of camps that you want to be, you want to get close to. Some want to get with the camps that are partying and have mm -hmm. all access to all the best drugs and the women. That's yeah. the camp they want to be a part of. Some go to the camps that are, you know, playing video games. That's a different camp that you go mm -hmm. to. Some go to the camps that are, you know, just be a, smoking weed and just getting high and they're just doing whatever they're doing. Some are the fraternities. Some are the, the sports guys. Some are the sports guys. Some of the, and but if there's a group of people. 
that are the idea guys that are saying, how about we go yeah. take over the world if we were to come out with this? Go in that camp yeah. and then see what happens 10 years later. Guess what? More power to Peter Thiel and those guys that got into that camp. Mm -hmm. Elon, by the way, it was his 50th birthday yesterday. He Elon, turned 50 yesterday. 50. 50 years old yesterday. I yeah. think he's going to do something with his life. I, I think, he's starting uh, a little I late think resume for the first 50 yeah. years, I think he he's owns the best resume. Right. I think he's got the best right. resume. For the first 50 Other than years. Barry's, uh, by the time he was 50, he had three crystal balls already right there. So, <laughs> and time. movies, Broadway, yes. and, and a lot of other things. But well, but let's go let's go into. By the, the way, speaking of Peter Thiel yeah. and this Roth IRA, have you ever read the book The Power of Zero? Yes. What a book, man! What a great book! What a book! That was actually a book that changed my mindset. Yeah. Which on, part? Which part of it of, of the book? Tell the, me. The whole book. I mean, it's a it's a thin little book. Size yeah. iPad. Yeah. Uh, I think Ricky and I, my good friend Ricky Aguilar and I, were talking about the other day. But my story with this real quick is I remember being in Vegas. I was doing the, the Nalba tour or whatever. And uh, they had this guest speaker. I could not tell you his name for the life of me. But I don't know, Kai, if you pull up the power of zero, you can. David McKnight. David McKnight. There he is. I think he's from Utah. And he talked about the power of zero. And the zero is this tax-free retirement. And he talked about how taxes are sure to go up and how the government budget is you know, completely overloaded on Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid. And if you want to have a tax-free retirement, a big staple of that is a Roth IRA and also the, what is it, the LERP, Life Insurance Retirement mm -hmm. Plan. Yep. But basically he broke down how you can have a zero, a zero percent tax retirement. And that changed my life. And I remember being in the back of a room. I don't know why they do conferences in Vegas because I was sure as hell hungover. And I remember like popping my head up being like, what, huh, retirement? And it just changed my life in the power of zero. And that's uh, a great example of what you can do with the Roth IRA. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.